the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and the All Progressive Congress, APC, have thrown accusations and counter accusations at each other over the clash between supporters of both parties just outside the entrance of the above Benin, Obao Eware II. While the PDP accused the APC of attempting to eliminate its leaders who had converged in Benin City for the flag of, of the party's governorship campaigns, the APC claimed the PDP had hired thugs to attack lawful protesters who had taken to the streets of Benin City to reject the uh, current governor, Godin Obaseki. The incident at the Obas Palace left many seriously wounded as the fight turned out to be a free-for-all. In that visit, we had the national chairman of PDP, Prince Uche Secondus, members, the entire members of the National Working Committee, the governors of River State, Delta State, Sokoto State, and of course, the host governor, Governor Godwin Obaseki. From what we have gathered so far, yesterday's event was a well-organized event to eliminate the entire leadership of PDP in Nigeria and the democratically elected governors of the party who we are all expected to be at that ceremony. Saturday, the 25th of July, the governor's army of thugs and cultists descended on protesters at the entrance of the palace of our great king, the Oba of Benin, and other parts of the Benin metropolis, sending many to the hospital with gunshot wounds because they dared to express their rejection, we were made to understand, of the outgoing governor who instead of fixing the humongous problems bedeviling the state, such as the payment of old, old salaries and fixing the state's challenging ecological issues in Tahalia, rather shows to invite tax collectors to the state to further the Bacchanalian feast on the state's treasury. And joining us live is Honorable Paul Ohombamu, the Commissioner for Information and Orientation, Edo State. Thank you very much for joining us, sir. Um, we, we're talking about the incidents, you know, that occurred um, um, barely 48 hours ago. Are these not the usual allegations of them against us? And also, how seriously should we take these recent allegations against uh, Pastor Izeyamu of engaging political thugs? Please come back. Can you come again? Um, I'm, I'm referring to the recent um, happenings in uh, Benin City, in Edo State, with regards to the elections. Yes. Um, do you yes. think that these are the usual allegations that normally occur just before elections? And also, how seriously should we take the allegations against Pastor Izeyamu of engaging political thugs? So engaging what? Of engaging with political thugs in the state. No, Pastor Yam is a responsible person. He did not engage. I think uh, it was a balance of terror. They face themselves and uh, they cannot be Pastor Yam in case. There is nothing like ugly with regards to Pastor Yam in this position. We know those who are the entrepreneurs of violence in the state. Pastor Yam is not part of this. He's a responsible person. A very senior pastor in the Redeemed Christian Church of God. They are only jealous of him because they have discovered that he is a force, impossible to be ignored in the policy. It is part of the, the marketing process. They have been a lot of things to get me negative things just to demarket him. They swear his name in body. He has proved to be a durable product that nobody can injure. So they are just jealous. That is the truth of the matter. Okay, do you feel that this situation requires a more defined policy regarding electioneering and campaigns in a way that it rules out thuggery entirely? You say what? Do you feel that the situation currently in Edo State requires a more defined policy regarding electioneering and campaigns and that would eventually rule out thuggery and violence? Obviously, the truth of the matter is that is not uh, APC and Pastor Israel is a for all the happenings have been carried out by PDP. They did the shooting. The last episode that happened, APC, APC 
field member to a shop. The lay city member should be a member. And that is the truth of matter. It was orchestrated by PDP and government of the day. And clearly shows it betrays the weakness of the government and its fear of electoral defeat. I tell you that we stand for it. That's what we are preaching. Campaign of issues based campaign. It has to get in anybody. There is a simple agenda which Pastor Yamu is selling to the people. If they key to it, the tendency for repetition of what has been happening will be dramatically obliterated. And we will not have violence enough at the end of the day. He yeah, said, these are things we will do better than what we have presently. I said, you know, genuinely and sincerely, it's for those people to judge, because eventually, they have seen policies of religion, they have seen arrogance of power, they have seen the trivialization of people's rights, they have seen the pathological situation on the capital and use of war power by our custodians of state power. All these things must be altered. Okay, and that's what Uwe Yam is saying, that Policy must be an act of the poor people and not a battleground of our children. This is what the very army stands for. We find policy. Right. The more you look with it, the more you will see. Anything will not be shrouded in history. These are the issues. Okay. I um, would like to say thank you, Honorable Paul Ohombamu, um, for the conversation. And we hope that we can also speak with you again as quickly as possible. Thanks for joining thank us. Thank you very much.